All right, here we are, guys. So um, we're back for another shootout here. Um, if you guys remember how I played this hole last time, uh, I went to the left-hand side. Now, here you can see the wind is right to left, so I'll probably let the natural slope kind of guide the way that I play it, and I'm probably going to try to go to the right-hand side because it would be super hard to kind of go left again and curl it against the wind and get the ball back towards the hole. So what I'm going to do is pretty much play this hole according to the wind that they give me. So let's see how my opponent does here. Of course, this isn't the easiest shot. And there you can see it rolls down the hill there. So the best shot is definitely going to, you know, stay up on that top shelf. So ideally, you know, that's kind of what we'd like to look to do. It appears that it's going to be relatively flat here. I'm going to go pretty close to maybe mid club, I'm thinking. So maybe 8.4 rings. But of course, you know, this is my first attempt. So I'm not, you know, 100% sure. Um, but you can see with what I'm doing with my ball guide and spin and everything. And I'm keeping it kind of out up high kind of intentionally and let's just go for eight ish rings here right in here <clears throat> no curl let's see if we can keep it up here that's going to take just a little bit too much hill it looks like you know we'll probably wind up very similar distance it seems like the hardest thing about this shot is keeping it on that level and there you can see that i'm actually going to lose the shootouts so you really do have to get the uh, the, the the good speed there um, in order to give yourself, uh, you know, the best shot. So um, I came in just a little bit hot. Do keep in mind that I was keeping the ball, the ball guide offset, but I might have just kept it just a little bit too long. So if it would have came in with a little bit less speed, I probably would have won that shootout and maybe um, I would have been able to even keep it on that same shelf level as well um, and if you keep it up on that same shelf level it's probably just going to take some practice and as i mentioned you know first time through uh just kind of gets a little bit challenging figuring out kind of speed wise you know i want to make sure that it still gets to the hole so i'm being just a little bit cautious and you can see that it almost kind of cost me because it rolled through too far not to mention that i don't have that extended ball guide until i believe sniper seven so i can't exactly tell how much it's running out especially up a hill so i'm basically guessing as to how much to go there but good luck there guys um hopefully you know those tips help you and uh you'll be able to kind of you know hone in a little bit more kind of try to crank up that backspin just a little bit more and try to offset that guide and just kind of, you know, feed it to the hole. Hopefully you have just a little bit higher level sniper, for instance. So you can actually see just a little bit more of the ball guide and can hopefully hone in on that speed a little bit better than I just did. Good luck and I'll catch you guys on the next one.